it's high time we looked at my Mila Complete C3 Silence Eco Live because I rather like to get it working so I can use it and stop it from having to sit in the corner of my front room. So let's take it apart because there's no way I dare to plug it in knowing that this has been apart already and we'll see what's missing and what it might need to be a little bit happier with itself, the poor thing. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Sorry, I was just finding the right side talks bit so that we could crack on with this video. So yes, my very complete, it's not terrible. I mean, that could be worse. A lot of that will just wash off. It is all there, bears some signs of a horrible previous life. But then of course, these might not be the original tool for the machine. So I guess we shouldn't judge too hard. Now, what we need to do is, we've already had a look at it. Look, it's got all of its tools. It's very tidy. I think it's all here as well. Certainly, if it's not, I've got enough other Mila C3s lying around that will get away with it. So, yeah, that bit's already off. We'll take... Oh, smells. The horrible smelly bag out and the filter. And then... Oh, what else? Well, I think... Oh, yeah, that lists off. I can't remember what's screwed on and what's not. I know I put a bit of it back together. So it would all sit in one place. But... Cannot fully recall... Which bits they were. I don't know if I even need to take that out. There's just a couple of screws. But that one's loose anyway. I think that's it anyway. <laughs> Yes, there we go. Oh, wow. There we go. Uh, it, ah. Oh, crikey. Crikey, crikey, crikey. This has certainly, oh, wow, been used for plaster dust. Okay, I'm going to go and get Benchy and we'll get this cleaned up. That is a lovely thing to see, though. On that motor. Right, let's get some more tools.
So, bar just ripping this piece of sound deadening. Ironically, just after I was thinking, oh, I've not seen sound deadening like this in a meal. Then I realised that this is the bit that I've just broken. The sort of silence-esque special sound deadening bugger. So, that's a bit of a shame. This all cleaned off quite nicely. But, I'm looking at all of this and I am thinking, you know what, I think I'm going to take this part in a minute. This works fine. I think that this works absolutely fine. It's just covered in crud, really. Oh, that's weird. My phone go on. Yeah, there we go. That's the state of the motion. I'm looking at all of this thinking that I am now quite close to being able to wash this, literally. I've only got to take apart a couple more things. I can strip it, wash it. We'll get the motor stripped and washed and then it can all just go back together and we can do a sort of combined before and after video. So just like on me in the week, it's all going to come completely apart. With the rest of the machine taken apart, it is now time to carefully make a small gap. Oh. Didn't really want to have to get the hammer with much fixing out, but I think we're going to have to. Something tells me that this motor is actually going to run quite nicely indeed once it's not covered in rubbish. Ah, stop dropping the screws. Carbons are in excellent condition. This does not appear to have blown, although I'll check it when it's clean, of course, but we want to wash. All of that regardless we do need the hammer because we need to take out this which again is fine <laughs> I think that this motor is going to live and once we take out the coil We can wash the whole thing, put this in a lot of boiling water to dissolve all of that rubbishy gunk. And when we see this again, well, we might be able to assemble it on a time lapse perhaps. So until then, I'm off to go do some washing. And just a couple of days later, we are back with one very shiny clean oh you don't like that do you oh too much bounce back too close to the camera and the lights behind it yes 
came out very, very well indeed. Might notice a little hole. That was in fact the only thing on this machine as it came to us that was broken. And I have another one here from the vast pile of spares left over from previous meal of fun. And there we go. You have to that the rewind pedal on these is very floppy. As soon as you start to pull out the cord reel, then it, it sort of lines up. So yes, we now have both of our pedals. Fantastic. What else have we got? Well the tools are back underneath. Don't oh hello. We don't ah, stay have a bag so or filters. So we need to rectify that now. Bring that out. Don't have the correct blue bag for it, but these do physically fit. They click in absolutely fine. They're just physically smaller, but that's fine. A very generous subscriber, I presume, or someone who watches my channel, bought me these off my Amazon wish list. Thank you very much. And they're still being used right now. Ah, let's pop this out. We'll put the post filter in, and I'm going to have to pause and find some scissors and cut the pre-rotor filter so there's that let me go and get this chopped down to size and pop it in that should be it we'll turn it around so it looks a little oh no in fact it's it's too big for ha huh, oh for the compartment ah that'll teach me for measuring it to the wrong place won't it measure twice cut once etc there we go, that will do. I can't imagine in my use it's going to really be needed anyway. But it is there, it fits, I think. I'm a little bit too small now, but stop falling down. Doesn't matter, it will be okay. So there's our bag, all fitted so we can pull out yeah, some flex, chuck it behind me. And I can show you that it runs. Oh. And it's so quiet. Now, spoiler alert, I have had this running to check that the motor worked after I had to solder the little circuit board. And it, it, it did, but it was a lot louder. This is the first time I've heard it with bags and filters. That's so quiet. Oh. Everyone I've spoken to seems to be right though. There doesn't seem to be as much airflow as the more powerful ones. And I know that's probably a given, but with all the work that manufacturers have put in to make these lower wattage motors, you know, good, I've not really experienced it. I have to say this is a little bit, I mean, it's okay. I don't quite know why you need much more than this for daily cleaning, but this is definitely a lot less. This is the handle, which was covered in paint. It's almost not covered in paint anymore. Just a couple of little, there you go, look on the Mila logo. Oh, a couple of little bits there, which I'm not going to worry about too much. The ones that it came with, and where are we? The Alltech floor tool which although is used came up very well indeed certainly well enough for some daily use so how does my free non-working Mila C3 complete silence work now bar hating this rug very well indeed let me switch angle Whee! there we go it's just these cheap rugs. It is death and silence. I am astonished at just how quiet it actually is. Wow, that is really quiet. But yeah, crikey. The suction's a little bit lacklustre.
that really is so, so quiet. I was going to compare it to another Miele, but then I remember that I actually have another Miele to hand, especially not one that's got all of its filters. They're all a bit packed away. So it wouldn't be a very fair comparison. But yeah, it, it cleans up okay. What I did find astonishing was how quiet it runs in low. And there's a little bit of airflow, but it just about holds its hose up. It is astonishing what they've done. I think 550 watts is as low as they ever went. But yes, it is. If you've ever used a more powerful meter, certainly a more powerful SA, I mean, I've used. 1600 watt ones and they are very different so this is now my only c3 that i've really got bar black one that isn't refurbished at all and it's mainly for spares which i was going to use for this but didn't need don't have an apple to apple c3 comparison to give you but i think we can maybe have a look at the 2200 watt s5 cat dog versus this at some point in the future but not for now because it is done i've shown you it so i can tick that off its job list and i might keep it out for a couple of days and use it daily because yeah i quite i love using cylinder cleaners i'll be honest they are very nice so thank you to mr james for giving me this beautiful pile of scrap and i thank you all for watching and i hope you've enjoyed and i and this mirror will see you soon Bye-bye.